Well, investors, the S&P has been climbing and the market as a whole has certainly shaken off some bouts of negativity. Now, if you were with me last week, it certainly wouldn't be too much of a surprise as we actually discussed this vacuum-like environment that we've been living in. So today, I wanted to keep it simple and actually just discuss it a little bit more in detail for you and dish out six discounted dividend stocks for you to consider right now before they actually recover. So, are you ready? Now, the other week I came on here and shared that we would continue to get this ebbing and flowing in the stock market, or rather days in the green followed by days in the red, all dependent upon the news bites and whether or not they were actually positive or negative. So for example, this past week, we saw a let up earlier on when weak manufacturing data came out, which really waited on the market sediment, which then was our negative news of the week that ultimately was shrugged off as we are now rebounding and just carrying on here in the green. However, I do want to double down on my stance for all of you in sharing that our macro environment just isn't going to change overnight, or at least as quickly as we would like it to, meaning that inflation is here to stay for a bit longer, resulting in a very stubborn and Federal Reserve certainly unwilling to slash interest rates until they're actually very confident in the data. Over the past year, as labor market tightness has eased and inflation has declined, the risks to achieving our employment and inflation goals have moved toward better balance. The economic outlook is uncertain, however, and we remain highly attentive to inflation risks. We've stated that we do not expect that it will be appropriate to reduce the target range for the federal funds rate until we have gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. So far this year, the data have not given us that greater confidence. In particular, and as I noted earlier, readings on inflation have come in above expectations. It is likely that gaining such greater confidence will take longer than previously expected. And what you then have to know is that businesses are going to do whatever they can to thrive in this challenging environment. But I want you to think about this. Inflation's eating away at the value of the dollar, all while interest rates have only driven up the costs across the board for businesses and consumers. This creates a double whammy of an impact. And by no means is it a pleasant environment for any of us, as evidenced by, well, the economic data and business balance sheet. Therefore, it's all about being a principled investor, one who doesn't stop investing, but rather invest into the right opportunities. You know, the companies with strong leadership teams, great brand names, and clean balance sheets. And while many popular dividend stocks are actually performing very well right now, there are six dividend stocks that I want to talk about because they're flying below the radar, with the very first dividend stock being Rockwell Automation, ticker symbol ROK, which I actually haven't discussed here on the channel before, but it's a business of software software and control systems in order to automate technologies. So very much one of those companies that often goes unnoticed, yet highly involved behind the scenes in our everyday lives. But think critically here. In this current environment that we're living in, would a company like this be soaring or hurting given business balance sheets are actually pulling back? Well, the latter. So here we are down over 15% on the year trading for $259 per share. But let's put this into the long-term spectrum for you to see over 150% worth of share price appreciation over a decade's time. And in addition, it is worth noting that looking ahead, there's favorability when it comes to the analyst forecasting a share price to hit $276 per share. That's just under 7% worth of upside from here. But the company has only been taking advantage of lower share prices now loading up on their share buyback program buying $194 million worth. Now, in the meantime, you're going to be able to capture a growing dividend because that yield's coming in at just 1.93%, which has been growing now on average by 10% year over year while maintaining a 21-year dividend streak. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about Accenture, ticker symbol ACN, which also deals in the tech realm as an IT services and consulting company. So very similar to the under-the-radar flying stock, or at least not as sexy as the Apple or Microsoft's or other Mag7 out there, but yet very powerful with over 312% worth of share price appreciation over the last decade. Zooming in here to just this year's performance, we can certainly see that it is down on the year by over 16% trading for just $291 per share. That's down from $378 back in March, which makes it an ideal buy right now for all of us, especially as analysts and 
smart money gain their confidence in this investment with analysts forecasting over 27 percent worth of upside from here to which that share price was rise to $372.28 per share and hedge funds that have already been buying shares as of last quarter loading up on over 627,000 shares but in the meantime before the stock rebounds you'll enjoy a 1.77% dividend yield smaller but again growing by roughly 10% year over year and maintaining a streak of 18 years now investors before I cover one of the most discounted dividend stocks on today's list I want you to go ahead and take just half a second to tap on that subscribe button to ensure that you never miss any market insights or dividend stock ideas I dish out on a weekly basis. And moreover, tap on that thumbs up button to let me know that you found value in today's video. Both of these actions actually help me tremendously and go more than a long way, more than you know, on this journey as I strive to be here for all of you on a weekly basis. With that, as promised, one of the most discounted dividend stock opportunities, Hormel Foods, ticker symbol HRL, which talk about a struggling stock. Hormel is down here currently on the year trading for just $30 per share after a strong history worth of appreciation of roughly 53%. So why is Hormel down right now? Well, think consumer trends, whereas sales fell and just continue to struggle in our current economic environment. But in knowing that Hormel is the legend behind dozens, I mean dozens of well-known brands, brands of pasta, Planters Peanuts, All the Valley Fresh Meats, and Skippy Peanut Butter, just to name a personal favorite of mine. Now, taking us over to the analysts, they're forecasting upside here, but with a hold call given the environment that we're in. However, that hasn't stopped hedge funds from actually loading up on shares of Hormel rather recently. And until the bounce back, Hormel will reward you with quite a dividend coming in at 3.69% yield, a 58-year promising history with a continuing growth rate here of roughly 12% year over year. As for dividend stock number four, another brutally beaten down stock opportunity, all thanks to our economic environment. We have Genuine Parts Company, that's ticker symbol GPC, which is a world-class distributor of automotive and industrial replacement parts, and go figure, two industries that are actually struggling as we speak. So this is exactly what I like to see with a long-term investment, a stock here in the red, trading for $142 per share, PE ratio at 16.1, and that's after peaking at $160 per share back in April. April. As the company remains a necessity, we can zoom out here to see over 118% worth of share price appreciation. Now, my take is that GPC will soar upon our rate cuts, and analysts will seem to agree with me here at 19.4% worth of upside predicted, coming up to a share price of $170.80 per share. Now, in the meantime, you're going to collect on a 2.8% dividend yield, which just continues to grow at an average here of 6% year over year with that track record of 67 years. And now to close us out for the day, I wanted to run through two companies that actually deal in the same realm, the construction realm, given businesses in this specific industry are hurting. Whether it's because of the decline in new construction or a decrease in existing home sales or overall just a change of plans when it comes to DIY projects because they're all being rain checked at this point in time from our macro environment. But first up here, we have Illinois Toolworks, ticker symbol ITW, a Fortune 200 company that produces engineered fasteners and components as well as equipment, mainly for welding. But keep Keep those macros in mind when telling yourself the ITW story, which clues us into this 7 plus percent decline on the year with a share price of $241 per share. Yet zoom out to see over 241% worth of share price appreciation all throughout the last decade. And while there hasn't really been many insiders buying, the hedge funds have certainly been all over this dividend stock opportunity last quarter. All while analysts forecast a $257.64 share price. It's almost 7% worth of upside from here. And until it hits those highs, you're going to reap the benefit of a 2.32% dividend yield that has been in business for the last 52 years, all while growing year over year by roughly 13%. And if Illinois Toolworks just isn't really what you're looking for, you can build up your portfolio with Caterpillar, ticker symbol CAT, the world's most dominant manufacturer of heavy construction machines and engines, to which I don't think any of its industry peers even come remotely close to their level of world dominance in the construction arena. But that comes at a token of being in an industry that really wavers during harder times. So here we are now with Caterpillar on the year, up but slightly sliding. As we can see, it's now trading for $329 per share after hitting just over $360 per share about a month or so ago. However, 
Zoom out with me and we're going to see nearly 300% worth of share price appreciation over the last decade. So we can go ahead and take a look at the long term here when it comes to Caterpillar and make a safe bet that it's going to be around. After all, analysts are also predicting upside here over 13% worth of it hitting a share price of $373 per share as the company adds value by pumping up their share buyback program scoring over $3.6 billion worth of shares back in March. And while you wait for the comeback, we're talking about a dividend company that's shelling out a 1.58% dividend yield, which has been paid out for more than 31 years now, while averaging a growth rate here of 10% year over year. Now, investors, there you have them, all six dividend stock opportunities for you to be all over right about now. Now, at this point, I'd love to get your thoughts on all of them, if they're in your portfolio, if you're planning on buying them, or if you're actually planning on avoiding them like the plague. Now, let me know your thoughts down in the comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, or just catch more insights by simply clicking right here for more.